that went well. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. She was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just, I didn't want to watch her wither. That's sad. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was looking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. Uh, if it's too George, much, Georgie? we don't have to do this. Georgie. Yeah. Hmm. Not the first time I've heard that name. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've All got right. a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. Huh. Really? Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there um, is there anything we can do? No, no. I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm going to have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's, it's a kind of, it's a formality with trolls. Of course. Yeah, there you okay. go. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? Nice playthrough. That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out. There's a plane outside. Sort of got. Oh yeah, no problem. Got your back. This place is still a dump. Well then, uh, okay. Sisters. And there it is. Pudding and pie. Who the hell is that? Nice ribbon. I remember that. Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. You're in love. Oh, look, another plane. Come on. Great. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard. Who the hell do you think you are? Huh. Adonis Welcome Feel the, the Thunder. Pie, <laughs> oh my God. Where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Did you know Lily? She worked here. Oh, my lips are sealed. Mm -hmm. You better ask Georgie. Nudity. Okay then. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. <laughs> Taking a shit. Uh, 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 How many times do I have to say it? 
There we go. I mean, this is better. You're supposed to turn the clients off. Oh, hello. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Oh, hello. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. I don't know what Georgie's from. What fable or whatever. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? Oh, Ooh. hello. Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you is probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell Ooh. me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips then. Listen, you British fuck. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. Listen, you gay British fuck. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Do you? you? Sure. Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft git. He was a troll. <laughs> no, I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Morgana. Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when no It's sick. It. It's sick. Ha! <laughs> That's quaint. Especially coming from you. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. It's exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. Uh. It used to be something, you know. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Ooh. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on then. We're not done here. I think we are. I said we're not. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you wanna do, right? Tell me what I wanna know, or I'll shut this whole place down. Ooh. <laughs> he tried to punch me. I can't really be nice with this guy. Bloody bastard fucking shit. You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. Absolutely. <laughs> Who's this guy? Hans. I uh, I need I need to I need to ask you a few questions. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when they need it. <coughs> He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron. <laughs> there is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills. Oh, have God. a really good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. Oh, I don't want to do this. Sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me 
about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. I'm trying to be nice, douchebag. Hey, no. I'm not gonna break it. Uh. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused again. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Come on, Georgie, I swear to God, I don't want to do this. Do not touch that. You hear me? There's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Hello. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Hi, truck outside. Uh, well, no. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give me the book. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. The hell is that? Two women are dead. Oh my quit God, being a bloody time. idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Stupid kids. Oh. <laughs> I hate kids. Bloody, come on, Let me man. drive my mom's minivan around. I'm so cool. Prick. Oh, what? Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Hello. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Ants knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Oh, don't bullshit me, Georgie. <laughs> this is your book. Your girl. Not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, Ooh. take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I like that like, quite spine tattoo he's got. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Wait, wait I want to go back. Hello. Hello, business office. Hello, what's in here? I'll take that. <laughs> oh, hello. I'll take it. The money's glitched in my hand. That's fantastic. Anything else in here? Nope. Yeah, that's right. Georgie. <laughs> you flipped me off. Okay, bye. We need to go in here. I want to talk to the deputy mayor. The health cosmetics. Note. <laughs> the money Thanks. is glitched in my Thanks hand. Thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Well, that jibes with what the woodsman told me. The money has glitched my fucking hands. Cubby? Oh, cubby.
Covey has said it was a name. <laughs> Lock's been busted open. I guess that she's dead, she doesn't need it. Lily. What do we got down here? Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. What's that? Hey. <laughs> Excuse me. I heard Hello. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Uh, I keep hearing that. Somebody else said that to me on the way in. Maybe it's a all surprise. It just. Do, do, do. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Hey, Ariel. Once upon a time. You. Have legs. Is that a glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. That's depressing. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? The eclipse are sealed. Can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. <coughs> These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. That's spooky. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about the money. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. God damn it, Bigby. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Yes. Okay. What would I need to do? I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. Uh, but I don't have, I don't it. have it. Oh, wait here for a second. I have money in my hand, and like I don't have money. Oh, hello. Not 207? You'll think of something. Mm-hmm. Genius. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Smart wordplay. I didn't have to give her my money either. I think that's point one to the wolf. Made them cry. Oh, is George the boy who cried wolf? Oh, that would make sense. Maybe, I don't know. Oh. Police officer, that is not how this is. Police officer, please. The bus. Ugh, that was very, like, long just to walk over here. Hello. The Bronx. Cola. Please ring bell. How about you die? Smile, you're on camera. That's, that's messed up. 
Uh, what's this say? Seems for anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Oh, Bell. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? <laughs> uh, Beauty. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So Damn. now you know. I know I should have told somebody. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. No problem. I got your back. So what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The patrol. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Because she's a damn troll. Uh. Thanks. 